Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super cute makeup look. As you guys can see, I already have my face done. The only thing I'm missing is my highlighter, my lipstick, and my eyeshadow, which is the main key of this entire video. And I have been postponing this look for a while because I just think I have a lot of ideas that I want to incorporate in my channel that I feel like the 30 days of makeup challenge is just holding me back from those ideas which are I believe super exciting to watch. I also going to be doing a video about the new ABH, well that stands for Anastasia Beverly Hills and Rizzi highlighter which I am extremely excited to try out. I have not even opened it yet. I received it in Sephora. Um, I believe it was a day ago, so I'm just gonna wait for this next video, which I'm gonna be recording also today, but it's gonna be uploaded after. First things first, I'm going to be using my Naked Heat um, Urban Decay palette. I'm gonna be using that in combination with my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time, which is a little bit beat up from the last time I used it, which was that Not My Hands Makeup Challenge um, Child Edition, which is a Jaclyn Hill palette by morphe and don't mind how disgusting it looks but i promise it still works so let's just get right into the video okay so i'm gonna start off by using a bunch of blending brushes but this one is by morphe and is the m441 brush and i'm gonna grab the shade soft right here as my transition these shadows are super pigmented but they have a lot of follow, but the only thing is that they blend out so freaking fast with whatever brush I'm using. To be super honest, it's so worth the hype and worth the price. I'm just gonna get this color up all the way through my crease, blending it all the way through my brow bone. So you get that seamless look, seamless color like that sunset has, as you can see. We're gonna grab one of my favorite shades in this palette, which is He Devil right here. We're also gonna be using the same eyeshadow brush that came in this palette. This is, well, it doesn't have a name, but it's dual ended. We're gonna get the one that is a little bit more tapered. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of really hard on the eyes, but hopefully it does the job. Obviously, it's not my favorite to go to. I just wanted to get risky today and try it out. Yeah. This look is clearly very pretty for prom, for pictures, for maternity shoots, from brides. I just think it's very glowy and warm and it's pretty and it goes well with every outfit and every look. I'm gonna grab the other side of the brush right here and I'm going with no. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, it has no shadow. <laughs> but I'm just gonna blend it one more time. I say, girl, it's better to over blend. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you have this palette, you know very well. Um, This does not come with the palette. It comes separate from the palette when you order it. So what I did is I just taped it to the, um, to this board, to just the palette itself. Oh my God, I just got blackout over my finger. We are going to grab the shade Jax right here. That's Jax. Kylie brush that I got from the Royal palette. And we're gonna jump that in. This actually, unfortunately, does not have a mirror, so I'm gonna have to use the Naked Heat palette mirror. Should have put a mirror in there, Jacqueline. As you guys can see, I chose to do my foundation first because I knew the shadows I was using did not have any followed in them. Maybe a little bit, which goes away with a brush and just some powder after, which is easy to take out. Because I'm not actually using some really bad shadows. The shadows are amazing. They're super easy to blend. Super, super easy. And to be honest, this shade, Jax, in the Jaclyn Hill palette, it looks reddish in the palette but what this is the very first time i used this shade and once i put it on my eye it kind of looks more purple and red i don't know why we're going to grab a tiny detail brush this tiny detail brush is by crown pro and this is the c513 brush it's very tiny it's very nice i used to have a bunch of these but i don't know what happened to them this shadow right here this is a soda pop off oh. 
Look, I'm a very real girl. To be super honest, sometimes when you're watching YouTube videos, you see all the glamour and all the nice stuff that happens, but a lot of YouTubers fuck up. Just like I fuck up many times for recording my videos. But guess what? I will make it work for you guys. Just like you guys will make it work too. Cause y'all are, how do you say triunfadores? You're all triumphants. Achievers? You, there you go. You're all achievers. Bam. And we're gonna go to the crease one more time to warm it up. Just because I feel like it's looking a little bit more cooler than I wanted to. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Ooh, let me tell you. When I saw this at Sephora, I immediately fell in love. This is the Too Faced Pure Gold. This is micro glitter mixed with pigment. And, oh, this is hard. And it has a little hole right, right here, which is super nice because no extra product comes out. And this is so good. I'm going to grab this orange shade right here. Right there. Right there. It's a very tiny spot. Right there, right here. We're gonna go to the other eye. We're gonna repeat the same thing. So crazy pigmented. Okay, so we're gonna grab this mustard shade right here in Crimsica. It looks so beautiful. I'm gonna grab this beautiful NYX Cosmetics um, Glitter Primer and I'm just gonna yeah. Sorry. Salud, que belleza sobra. We're gonna grab Jax in the shade Jax. And then we're gonna blend it to the bottom. We're gonna connect it to the top like this. And then we're gonna blend it all the way through. I'm going to go with that kind of black shade. Nope. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put on the Mare Minerals um, Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in the shade Maverick. And I'm just gonna pop that on because I just feel like this is the perfect shade. It has a little bit of tint to it. I'm just gonna put on some mascara, lashes, and I'll be right back for the finishing Manali shoots. I'll be right back, you guys. So, thank you guys for watching this video. This is the finished look. As you guys could see, I have no highlight on. Reason being is because my upcoming video is of the new ABH I'm Ruizy highlight. It's, oh God, I have not tried it yet and I'm dying to try it out. So, it's going to be a review, demo, and first impression. So, please go watch that. It's going to be uploaded next week. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys do like it, please actually like the video. I would really appreciate it and subscribe. And also, if you guys haven't already done so, please press the little bell notification button all the way down there next to the subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.